Hello, welcome to Dobnosh Tutorials. Uh, we have previously seen the definition of histogram and a method to uh, improve a histogram that is linear stretching. There exists another method which is called histogram equalization which makes proper uh, improvements to a given histogram and makes it more uh, enhanced in the contrast levels. As it can be seen here, I have drawn a histogram. Now, if I am to perform a linear stretching and equalization uh, for the histogram, I have the following outcomes. In linear stretching, the triangular shape of my parent uh, histogram remains the same but it is only a bit wider. But in equalization, the shape uh, has completely uh, vanished. Uh, we can see the gray levels are more spread out uh, and this uh, presents us with more contrast levels for the same histogram. Now we will uh, have a look at one example of uh, uh, performing equalization. Now histograms are of two types, discrete histogram and continuous histogram. So the methods for both the types of histograms in equalization are pretty much different. In this uh, video, we are going to learn about discrete, discrete histogram equalization technique. In the next video, we will learn the continuous histogram equalization technique. Now, let us consider an example of uh, gray levels from 0 to 3 and the occurrences that as I have shown over here in this table. I have drawn the histogram for this um, uh, gray level distribution and it looks like this. Now let us proceed to uh, perform the equalization. Now uh, in an equalization sum we have to uh, construct a table like this. In the first column we will enlist all the gray levels that we are dealing with. In the second column we are going to uh, write down the occurrences of uh, each gray level for the entire image. Uh, the PDF or probability distribution function is the probability of occurrence of each gray level. Uh, it is calculated by a usual probability formula that is the individual occurrence nk of a gray level upon the total occurrences in the image. CDF is cumulative distribution, distribution function uh, sk which is equal to summation of p at each gray level. I will explain how CDF works as we proceed through the sum. The second last column is SK into L minus 1. L is equal to 4 in this case because there are 4 number of gray levels. Uh, L is always the uh, total number of gray levels and L minus 1 is the highest gray level present for the image. Now we will proceed with the, uh, with enlisting the occurrence of each gray level. As we have seen earlier in from the table, the zero uh, gray level has occurred 70 times. So I will write here 70 and so on. The gray level one has occurred 20 times. So here I will write 20 and so goes for the gray level number two, which is 10 and the gray level 3 has occurred 0 times. So I will write a 0. Now when I add all these occurrences, I will get a summation n which is for this case 100. Now uh, I will calculate the probability of occurrence of each gray level which comes out to be pretty simple in this case which is 70 on 100 which is 0 0.7 here it is 0 0.2 and here it is 0 0.1 and here it is 0. The summation of all the probabilities should be 1 which is the fundamental basic rule of probability. Now we will see how to calculate the CDF for each gray level. For the first gray level it will be the same as the probability for gray level 0 that is 0 0.7. So we write it as it is over here. For the gray level 1, the CDF would be 0 0.7 that is the probability of the previous gray level plus the probability of occurrence of the uh, present gray level in this case gray level 1. So it will be 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 which is 0 0.9. Now 
uh, I will uh, proceed for gray level 2 in the same manner which will yield me 0 0.9 which is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 which gives me 1 and since the gray level 0 has 0 probability so it will the CDF will remain same as it was for gray level number 2 that is 1.0 now to check that your CDF level is correct, always remember that the, uh, the CDF at the lowermost gray level should always come to uh, so should always come as one. Now we will proceed to calculate the values in this column, which is SK into L minus one. SK is CDF. So here I get 0 0.7 into 3 as 2.1. 0 0.9 into 3 as 2.7 and 1 into 3 as 3 and here 3 now I will round off the values that I have got in this column which is 2.1 will remain 2 2.7 will round off to 3 and these will remain same so now I have uh, the new gray levels uh, that, I, that I have obtained from histogram equalization. Now we will use this last column to map the old gray levels into new gray levels. As we can, we can see for the gray level 0 we have obtained a value 2. So all the uh, uh, occurrences of uh, for gray level 0 that is 70 will be assigned to a gray level 2. Similarly for gray level 1 we have obtained value 3. So all the occurrences for level 1 that is 20 would go for a gray level 3. But as we can see for level 2 we have also got uh, a value as 3 so the occurrences that is 10 which were for the uh, originally for the gray level 2 we will, would also go for gray, gray level 3 now uh, as we can uh, we can write this down as follows the uh, old gray levels their occurrences or frequencies and uh, new gray levels for gray level 0 the value that we have got in the above table is 2 that is for in the new histogram or the output histogram uh, all the occurrences for original gray level 0 that is 70 would be assigned to gray level 2 now for old gray level 1 we have got a value 3 and for the old gray level 2 and 3 also we have got a value as 3 so for the original uh, occurrences the occurrences for old gray levels 1 2 and 3 that is 20 10 and 0 would all go to gray level 3 in the new histogram that is the value sums up to 20 plus 10 plus 0 which is 30 now we will plot this new uh, uh, by using the, these new gray levels and their distribution we will uh, plot the new histogram now using the new gray level distribution we can plot a new histogram which will look like this. Now comparing it with the original histogram which was somewhat like this. Uh, pretty much triangular in shape. The output histogram after equalization becomes pretty well distributed that is the values for uh, that were saturated at zero gray level have been shifted to gray level number two and the gray level three which did not have any value in the original histogram has some value in the new histogram 
so there is pretty spread out profile for the uh, new histogram and we can say that the histogram is equalized